Hey everybody, and welcome back to the vlog. Today we bring you another adventure from our recent vacation. Today's is Red Rock Canyon. On our last day in Vegas, before flying home, we went to Red Rock Canyon to spend the day, check things out, see how things were. And uh, we waited in line forever to get inside to Red Rock Canyon. The line was absolutely outrageous. Um, but once we finally did get in, we got a map, we visited the gift shop, you know, did the little, the little touristy things, and then we decided to go take a trail. So we wasn't equipped for a long trail. We only had like two bottles of water on us. I think it was actually one bottle of water and one bottle of, Gator, of uh, Gatorade. So we was looking at a small one, something that was just an hour, hour and a half long. So we found a small one that we like called La Madrid or something there close to that. Um, it was like an hour and a half, two hour long trail. It was populated with heavy wildlife, it said. Should have been a nice little walk. Unfortunately, our map was not the greatest. And there is no signage that we found on any of the walks. Um, there was nothing that said, hey, let me this way and this trail that way. So as you can imagine, we zigged and we should have zagged. And that was a costly zag because what should have been an hour, hour and a half walk ended up being a five hour walk. <laughs> wow, that was huge. At, at a certain point we realized our mistake, but we thought, well, you know, let's just keep on going. We're, we can't be far from the parking lot at this point. We had stopped and talked to numerous people on this trail. It was, it was a very heavily populated trail. And we talked to several people and was like, hey, how far is the parking lot? And ironically, every one of them told us the same thing. Oh, only about an hour, hour and a half. After walking about an hour, an hour and a half and still not seeing the parking lot, we decided, you know, maybe we should ask someone else, of which we received the same response again. Oh, about an hour, hour and a half. It's kind of alarming. <laughs> so finally, four and a half, five hours later, we can see the parking lot off in the distance. We're super excited. And at this point, we're about 40 minutes from the parking lot when we run into this very nice Canadian couple and their, their children. And we're talking to them and just socializing, being little butterflies. And they explained to us that, you know, they've been walking for about an hour and asked how much longer the trail was. So <laughs> obviously we do them a solid and we don't tell them an hour, hour and a half. We tell them we've been walking for four, four and a half hours. So they say they're going to walk a little bit further, then they're going to turn around and come back because they're not interested in that long of a hike, nor are they prepared for it. So we keep on going. We, we round the crest, we can see the parking lot, and as we get closer, Jamelin and I are like, that doesn't look like our parking lot. That, that must be a mistake. And we keep walking and we reach the parking lot and it's not our parking lot. We have proceeded to walk all the way around the mountain, one half of it anyway, to reach another parking lot that is not ours. So at this point, we either have a four and a half to five hour walk back to our parking lot with at this point, nothing to drink because the water and, and Gatorade are gone, or we can take the road and hope someone will give us a ride to our parking lot. So we're sitting there, we're contemplating what to do. We're looking at the map. We're trying to decide the best option when the Canadian couple and their children come back through and they tell us, hey, good luck, blah, blah, blah. And they go on to their parking lot, not realizing that we're at the wrong one. So we catch them before we leave. And I, and I go up to the gentleman and I tell him, I was like, I have nothing to offer you. I have no cash. I have no money. I have nothing to offer you, but I'd like to beg for a ride to the next stop, which is where we parked. And this sweet couple, um, I don't know their names and I apologize for that, but this sweet couple said, of course, absolutely, we'd be happy to give you a ride. And uh, they're like, we have a hatchback. And I'm like, you know, sir, I will ride on your roof rack. I do not care. The two oldest daughters jump in the back of the hatchback. They're teenagers. Their son sits in the middle between me and Jamie Lynn and they're giving us a ride over. And just an amazing couple. I mean, shouts out to you, you guys. Amazing couple. Um, but they give us a ride over to our parking garage, our parking lot that we're at, and talking with them, we're thanking them and everything. Well, I hear one of the daughters behind my ear trying not to giggle. She's doing one of those muffled giggles, like, you know. So I turn around and I look at her, and, and 
I said, honey, it's okay. You can laugh at my accent. Well, as soon as I said that, this young girl started busting out laughing. And then her sister started busting out laughing because to them I did sound funny. And the father immediately starts apologizing. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. And I'm like, listen, it is perfectly okay. Your children can laugh at me the whole way. They thought my accent was quite cute. And I thought it was actually kind of funny that they thought my accent was cute. So they give us a ride back to our parking lot. Bless their hearts, love them to death. Don't know them, wouldn't know them again if I saw them, but a huge shout out to them. Those Canadians were off the chart awesome. But all in all guys, it was an amazing day. Uh, we didn't plan on it being a day, but it was an amazing day. Red Rock Canyon was a blast. I strongly recommend it to anybody that is interested or is in Vegas, go on these trails. They've got like 25 different trails. They have everything from the lighted heart to the hardcore. It was an amazing day. Make sure you pack the necessary waters and or buy them from the vending machine because what you think is an hour, hour and a half trail may turn into five. And then your wife will have her head spinning around on her shoulders, spinning green vial and trying to eat you. Just a point. Thanks everybody for watching. As always, we hope that you like our videos and subscribe to the channel for future content. We do post weekly and uh, have a great day. Bye everybody. Making it worse. Okay, whatever. Hey everybody, welcome back to the vlog. Today is another expert of our excerpt. So we found one that we liked called the Lamad Lamad called Lamad well damn pickles. What is up with you children? I am trying to video. Really?